Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We have a viewer question in here from Greg. Um, the heading of this email is newer, uh, New Camera Questions. He says, Hi Matt, I'm Greg from SoCal and I'm new to the photography game. I bought a Canon T6i as my starter camera about four months ago and since have bought an M50 and now an 80D. I sold the M50 because it was too small for my big hands, but I loved it, but I kept dropping it. I will keep my ADD, which takes amazing pictures in spite of my lack of talent. I have been shooting manually for two months and have watched you and Fro and a few others and absorbed the great sea of knowledge you all give us. My question is, I'm wondering if a full-frame camera will be an upgrade. I do possess three EF lenses, a 50, 85, and a Sigma DG, uh, I believe zoom 70 to 300, and will add a few more better lenses eventually. I was... Uh, looking at the 6D Mark II, the 5D Mark IV, without going into the $3,000 to $5,000 range, I'm looking for help. I have thought about waiting for the 7D Mark III or the 90D, but wondered if those were full-frame options. As of now, I do landscape and some motorsports and baseball, football, no portraits or video. Not concerned with anything but great stills and low light for concerts and fast for sports. Any help would be greatly appreciated. Thanks again for the knowledge and amazing and calm demeanor for not making us newbies feel stupid. Greg. Well, thanks very much, Greg. Appreciate the uh, the, um, the 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 uh, the appreciation from you, <laughs> and uh, and um, I like your. Uh, you sound like you're like me, a little quite uh, humble in your writing in there. <laughs> so, uh, great question here from Greg. Um, so he hasn't had an M50, had a T6i, has an 80D right now, and wondering if full frame uh, would be an upgrade. First of all, yeah, I would think, yes, full frame will be an upgrade. You're usually, all else being equal, full frame. You're going to get cleaner high ISO images, so better low light abilities. Um, not necessarily just low light, but that allows you the ability to up your shutter speed if you're shooting fast moving targets and you want to freeze them more effectively, for instance, in sports, because you could shoot at a higher ISO, allowing you to do so. Um, and you're looking at the 6D Mark II, the 5D Mark IV, um, and then you're thinking about the 7D Mark III or the 90D. So first of all, 90D, 7D Mark III are almost assuredly, I mean, that, those, those, that line of cameras has always been APS-C crop sensor. So they're not going to be full frame. That would be a, a heck of an upset if somehow they suddenly went full frame. The 6D Mark II, 5D Mark IV, both full frame. 5D Mark IV, better for sports. Um, probably arguably a little bit better maybe at high ISO too, even though it has the larger 30 megapixel sensor. 60 Mark II, um, probably adequate for everything. Where it might fall down a little bit is the AF system for sports. You might not be quite as happy there. Um, but still, you know, uh, photographers used to use manual focus cameras and pre-focus for sports. You know, pre-focus an area, subject runs through it, boom. So sometimes I chuckle when I hear people wondering, you know, if the AF system can keep up for what they want. Um I mean, it's valid. Don't get me wrong. We got great technology. People want to use it, and some of the better systems will do sports better. Uh, it's just kind of one of my little caveats. I, I admittedly, I'm not a fast-moving target shooter for the most part. Uh, almost all my stuff is center focus, recompose type shooting, which a lot of people do. Um, so these more elaborate tracking systems and whatnot, while I find them fascinating, I don't really need them. I always like, you know, in the same way that you like to see your brand of car win a race, you know. I love Hondas. It's nice to see a Honda uh, race car finish first. Um, same thing with cameras. I like to see Nikon or Canon. I guess I'm, you know, I used to be quite Nikon brand loyal. Still love them, but I like a lot of what Canon's doing. I like a lot of what Panasonic's doing. I mean, I'm shooting this with the Panasonic G85. So, um I guess I like to see the competition all keep each other going, spurring each other on. Uh, 6D Mark II is a great camera. If you're only doing photos, I think it would be great. The only caveat I would have for you is that I'm not sure, depending on how you shoot, you may find the focus system not fast enough for sports. Um, 5D Mark IV, probably less of a problem there. It's still not a 1DX2, but it's probably the best you're going to get um, in full frame without going all the way to a 1DX2. Also, the 7D Mark II would be a better autofocus system for sports, but then you're into a much older APS-C camera that doesn't keep up on high ISOs and things. So I guess it depends. Uh, it sounds like you do do a lot of sports. Maybe what you want to do, and I mean, here's just a thought, is wait and see what's coming. Um, this 
I mean, the 80D is a pretty solid camera. You should be able to get by just fine with what you're shooting with the 80D. Wait and see. That's probably what I would do is if, if I was you at the moment. The 80D, I like it. It's a good camera. It's a good autofocus system, solid, solid sensor, good ISO performance, good all-over performance from that sensor. Um, I, I like it. I wouldn't probably, at this point, I know you're wanting to upgrade, but at this point, maybe the thing to do is wait. We're expecting full-frame mirrorless announcements from Canon. There'll be updates to some existing APS-C, maybe the uh, M5 version 2, Mark II, will be to your liking, more so than the M50. Uh, maybe the 90D is all you need, you know? Maybe the upgrades to it. Maybe the 7D Mark III. At, even though it's going to be a crop sensor, it's going to be a better performing sensor, I can almost guarantee you, than the 7D Mark II, um, because that thing's getting old in the tooth. So with so many announcements pending, I think if I was you, I would wait. But what do you guys think? Let's throw it back to our viewers. Uh, should Greg wait? He's got an ADD right now, considering a 62 or 5D4, but he likes to shoot a lot of sports, especially the 62. As I said, my concern would be maybe the autofocus not being what he would hope. Um, may not even be quite what he would hope versus the ADD. Um, and I just think waiting is a good idea. But what do you guys think? If you're in Greg's position right now, has an ADD, has some good solid lenses, likes to shoot, not really interested in video, mostly sports and portraits. Or he says no portraits. He does landscape, motorsports, and, and other sports. Uh, what would you do in Greg's position right now? Would you be looking at a 62? Would you be looking at a 5D4? Would you consider um, a 72? Would you wait? What would you do? Let us know in the comments below. Let us know what you would do and why. And if you are waiting, what camera would you be leaning towards in Greg's position? Let us know. Thanks for your question, Greg. Looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say. Always great to get your feedback and help our viewers make their decision because Lots of people have different opinions. A lot of times you guys bring up something I hadn't thought of. So uh, looking forward to seeing that in the comments below. Thanks for, again for your question, Greg. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.